Hi, I'm Stephen from AEI, and I'm here to give you a demo on how to understand your new Ventaxia heat recovery ventilation system that we've installed for you. This system should provide you with years of fresh, warm, filtered air for your home. Perfect for asthmatics, people who suffer with allergies, or for those who just appreciate having good quality air in their home. The system is 100% automatic and requires no interaction with yourself. There is sensors internally to detect high humidity in the house, which will ramp up the fans and will bring them back to normal speeds once the humidity has been corrected in the house. There's very little for you to do with the system, bar a check the controller for faults and to occasionally clean the filters. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Firstly, I look at the main heat recovery unit. This is the most common unit that we do. We do several other types, but this is definitely the most common unit that we install. They all operate under the same principles. Inside you have two fans, one supplying fresh air to the rooms and one extracting the stale air from the wet rooms like bathrooms and kitchens and utility rooms. Inside you have a filter for each fan. You have a filter here and a filter here behind this door and you have a controller on the front of the unit to display faults or electrical issues or also to give you some feedback on fan speeds and filter conditions and that. The fresh air fans pull in external air, draw through the heat exchanger in the middle of the unit and send it off in the ductwork to your bedrooms, your living rooms, your dining rooms and any studies and the likes of that. Any rooms basically with no water in them get fresh filtered air supplied to them. The extract fan on the other side of the unit will pull air from rooms with water in them, so your kitchens, your utility rooms, your bathrooms, your en suites. These rooms will have the air extracted from them. There is a very small background noise of the fans operating, but you shouldn't be able to hear it in practically all rooms in the house. There's a chance in the room closest to the unit that you might hear a very small background hum, but at night time you should hear nothing. But during the daytime, an extremely low sound is, is not uncommon in some rooms. The units come with internal humidity sensors. These humidity sensors will detect when you're cooking or when you're washing or showering or even when you've mopped the floors and they will automatically boost the fans. And the fans' objectives are to get the humidity levels in the house back to a normal level, back to around 50 to 60%, which is a healthy condition for humidity levels. Houses with poor ventilation will see humidity levels of 80 and even 90% in some rooms. You'll have mold on walls, you'll have wet walls, uh, you'll have damp and you'll have mold spores. You'll have a lot of stuff in the air that you don't know you have if you have poor ventilation in your house. And this is the best solution to it. It's worth noting that if you wash clothes and dry them indoors during the winter months, to not leave the wet clothes on a clothes horse in a room with an extract point, like a kitchen. Because what will happen is the humidity from the wet clothes will cause the fans to boost and at night time you might hear the fans running at a slightly higher fan speed and you don't want that at night time. Not a big issue during the daytime, obviously. Uh, but just to be aware of that, also if you mop the floors late at night before bed, there's a chance that the fans will run for... If you mop the floors within the hour, the, the, the humidity should be brought out and the floor should be dry. Uh, so it's uh, just worth noting that. Remember, the changing of fan speeds and the detection of humidity is all 100% automatic. There's no interaction required from you whatsoever. All you need to watch out for are faults on the controller and to occasionally clean your filters. There's an option on the front of the unit to boost the airflow. So you can run it from normal speed up to boost speed, which is a higher fan speed. Now you might want to do that if you have somebody sick in the house and you want to dump a load of fresh air into the house or if there's a smell in the house after maybe a dinner party or whatever, whatever reason. If you have a smell in the house, you want to remove it or you just want a lot of fresh air dumped into the house, press this boost button on the front of the controller. You can press it once, it'll boost for 30 minutes. Press it twice, it'll boost for an hour. Press it three times, it'll boost for four hours. Press it again, it'll turn off the boost. The one thing you need to remember to do is to vacuum the filters every six months or so. You have two filters behind these little doors. Uh, the way to access them, firstly, there'll be a spur like this close to the unit somewhere. Just turn off the power, controller turns off, the unit turns off. There's no power to the unit now. So to open the little door, just push here and pull the little flap. That door opens and then that's your filter. That's, the, that's a brand new white filter. Over time they will go grey and eventually they go dark, they go black. But um, initially, out of the box, they're, they're, they're perfectly white like that. So they capture all the dust and dirt and pollens and anything that's in the air outside the house and they capture it and they hold on to it. So to clean it, all you do is slide it out, get your vacuum cleaner, hoover, whatever you have, take the nozzle off and literally run it across it. And you'll see the colour changing back to a lighter colour. But don't be, um, don't be concerned if the filter colour has gone quite black. 
it's it's perfectly normal because it is absorbing a lot of moisture and a lot of dirt and dust. Um, so after, after you vacuumed out the, the filter, literally slide it back in where you took it out. It'll eventually stop when you push it in and close the door. And that's the door closed. Repeat the process for that filter as well. You do that every six months and the unit will remind you by saying check filter on the screen. It'll just say check filter. It'll occasionally pop up for two seconds. So after you've cleaned both filters every six months, you need to just press and hold the up and the down button. That's the, the left hand button. So press and hold them together. They're quite small buttons. Press and hold them in for five seconds and the check filter warning will disappear. That's you telling the unit that you have checked the filters. Um, and then six months later, that same warning will come up again or that same display check filter. Just go up and press and do that. So after two years, you need to change the filters because eventually they become impregnated with so much dirt that the, um, the air just can't pass through them as, as well as uh, a brand new set of filters. So that's when you call us in, we'll do a service, we'll change the filters, we'll check the unit for faults, we'll update software, we'll balance all the air flows, we'll recalibrate all the, uh, the fans, and we'll just give the full system a full check over and make sure it's working like the day we install it. And a brand new set of filters will be installed at that stage. You'll see a small white pipe coming out of the bottom of your unit. That's basically your condensed pipe. During the winter, there'll be a good bit of condensation produced because you've hot and cold air meeting inside in the unit. Anywhere hot and cold meet, you get water droplets forming. So these water droplets are took out the condensed pipe and sent to drain somewhere. You'll see ceiling grills in most rooms in the house. Any habitable room should have a ceiling grill in it. The dry rooms with no water in them um, are, are supply grills and the wet rooms or rooms with water in them like utilities, kitchens and bathrooms, they will have extract grills. It's not uncommon for some grills to become dusty over time. It's not actually dust coming down the ductwork from the system. It's dust from within the room sticking to the grills because there's a really small static charge uh, on the grills because of the moving air. So it's more common in uh, the likes of a walk-in wardrobe where you have a lot of dust from clothes being took on and took off and stored. Uh, most rooms, like living rooms, sitting rooms, you, you shouldn't notice any dust on these grills. So outside of changing your filters and hoovering your filters every six months and checking the controller for occasional faults, we recommend this every six months. There's very little for you to do. The system is fully automatic. Hopefully this video will help you understand your system a little bit better. If you are unsure of anything, please email us at admin at aei.ie and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.